Bugatti, Ferrari, Pagani, Lamborghini. When it comes to lavish automobiles, these are a few of the manufacturers that come to mind first. Brands like these have earned their place by offering the fastest, rarest, prettiest, and of course most expensive cars in the world. But even among this elite company, only a few can claim to be the best of the best. That's why we've done the hard work putting together a list of cars all priced at $1 million or more. From luxurious Rolls-Royce one-offs to track-only monsters from Aston Martin and Ferrari, this list has a little bit of something for everyone. So take a look at your savings account, call up your financial advisor, and join us as we run through the 50 most expensive cars in the world. Now, since we all might have a hard time affording some of the cars here, Motor One wants to give you the latest car news, reviews, lists, and more, all without charge. Be sure to click that button below to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. As they say, the best things in life are free. Now, back to the list. Day Tommaso reintroduced itself to the world in a big way with the 2019 debut of the P72 supercar. With equal parts style and performance, it packs a supercharged Ford V8 making 700 horsepower. The P72 will set you back $1.3 million. It might surprise you to see a Ferrari so low on this list, but at $1.4 million, the LaFerrari is actually one of the more affordable options here. The LaFerrari made its debut in 2013, and with 950 hybridized horsepower and a top speed of 220 miles per hour, the car remains Ferrari's fastest and most powerful series production model. Pagani debuted the Huayra in 2011 as a successor to the Zonda. With cutting edge design and a Mercedes AMG V12 with 720 horsepower, the Huayra drives just as good as it looks. Limited to just 100 units, the Huayra sold out in 2015 despite its $1.4 million cost. Even without a windshield or a roof, the McLaren Elva deserves a place in the British automaker's legendary history. The Elva's twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 provides 804 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque. The car costs $1.7 million and is limited to just 149 units down from the original plan of 399. A newcomer to the supercar market, Singer unveiled the 21C in March of 2021 with manufacturing beginning that same year. The car is powered by a 2.9 liter twin turbocharged V8 with 1,250 horsepower, a top speed of 281 miles per hour, and a zero to 60 time of 1.9 seconds. Unsurprisingly, all that performance doesn't come cheap. The 21C costs $1.7 million. Ferrari gets a two-for-one on our list with the Monza SP1 and SP2. The cars are largely similar with the main difference being the SP2's passenger seat and the SP1's lack thereof. Both are powered by a naturally aspirated 6.5 liter V12 with 809 horsepower and 530 pound-feet. Unfortunately, even if you can afford the car's $1.75 million price tag, neither is street legal in the US. The second car produced by Gordon Murray Automotive, the T33, comes in at $1.7 million. The car features a naturally aspirated 3.9 liter V12 with 607 horsepower and an insane 11,100 RPM redline. With four seats, the Koenigsegg Gemera proves that you can still have supercar fun while bringing your family along for the ride. Powered by a twin turbocharged two liter engine, the Gemera has 1,700 horsepower and a zero to 60 time of 1.9 seconds. The Gemera will be limited to 300 units, priced at $1.7 million. Zenvo pulled the covers off the TSRS at the 2018 Geneva Motor Show. The TSRS was the most powerful machine in the Danish supercar makers lineup at the time, boasting a twin supercharged 5.8 liter V8 with 1,177 horsepower and a 0 to 62 time of 2.8 seconds. Mind-boggling speed does come at a mind-boggling price, however. The TSRS costs $1.7 million. The Hennessy Venom GT made headlines in 2013 when it delivered a then world record speed of 265.7 miles per hour. The new Hennessy Venom F5 aspires to beat even that with a claimed top speed of over 300 miles an hour. Initially announced at $1.6 million, the Venom F5's price climbed to $1.8 million in early 2020 and finally $2.1 million later that year. Limited to just 12 units, the Bacaller is one of the rarest cars on this list. Although luxury is the priority for Bentley, the Bacaller is no slouch in the performance department either. Featuring Bentley's signature turbocharged 6-liter W12 engine, the Bacaller makes 650 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque. The Bentley Bacaller costs $1.9 million, but every example is already in customer hands. 
The Hispano Suiza Carmen Boulon has a look that could generously be described as mm, unique. Making its debut at the 2022 Amelia Island Concorde d'Elegance, the Carmen Boulon sports a 1,114 horsepower electric powertrain and a 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds. This particular version of the Carmen Boulon cost $1.9 million. Bentley has committed to a fully electric lineup by 2030, but that doesn't mean they don't still have some gas left in the proverbial tank. The Moliner Batour is powered by Bentley's twin turbocharged W12 engine with 710 horsepower, making it the most powerful Bentley to date. Limited to 18 units, the Batour costs $2 million even. Pivoting toward the future, the Deus Vion is an upcoming all-electric hypercar with 2,200 horsepower, a 0-60 to 60 time under 2 seconds, and a top speed of 248 miles an hour. 99 units are planned, each costing $2 million, with the first expected to hit the road in 2025. Controversy, thy name is SSC Tuatara. Back in 2020, SSC initially claimed that the car achieved a top speed of over 300 miles per hour, but this was quickly debunked and ultimately rescinded by the company. That being said, the Tuatara still managed an impressive top speed of 295 miles an hour in 2022. And yes, this time it was verified. The Tuatara will be limited to 100 units and it costs $2 million. The Lotus Evaya marks the brand's first fully electric offering as well as its first all-new car since being purchased by Geely in 2017. Poised to be the pinnacle of the Lotus lineup, the Evaya will be powered by four electric motors producing a combined 1,972 horsepower. Limited to just 130 examples, the Avaya will cost $2.1 million. Debuting in 2015, the Aston Martin Vulcan is a track-only model from the British car maker. Powered by a naturally aspirated 7-liter V12 producing 820 horsepower, the Vulcan rockets from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. An optional AMR Pro package brings improvements to the aerodynamics if the owner wants it. The Vulcan costs $2.3 million. If the Delage name doesn't sound familiar, it could be because the French luxury car maker originally ceased operations way back in 1953. Announced in 2019, the D12 revival marks the brand's triumphant return, powered by a 7.6 liter V12 with 1,010 horsepower. The Delage D12 costs $2.3 million and will be limited to 30 units. How much would you pay for the fastest McLaren production car ever? If you answered $2.3 million, the McLaren Speedtail has you covered. Featuring a hybrid V8 powertrain, the Speedtail produces 1,035 horsepower with a top speed of 250 miles an hour. McLaren built 106 units, all of which have already been sold. While it isn't the most expensive car on this list, we still have 30 more to go if you're keeping track. The Ramatz Nevera is one of the most expensive EVs at $2.4 million. With 1,914 horsepower and 1,740 pound-feet of torque, the Nevera goes from 0 to 60 in less than 2 seconds. The car is limited to 150 vehicles, and deliveries began in mid-2022. The successor to the aforementioned Huayra, the Pagani Utopia is the brand's latest and greatest vehicle. Powered by a twin-turbocharged 5.9-liter Mercedes-AMG V12, the Utopia boasts 852 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The car is limited to 99 units priced at $2.5 million each, all of which have already been sold. Named for the company's founder, Batista Farina, the Pininfarina Batista delivers the kind of performance and price that would make its namesake proud. Sharing a platform and factory with the Remotz Nevera, the Batista is fully electric with 1,827 horsepower and a 0-60 to 60 time of under 2 seconds. 150 examples of the Batista will be built, each costing $2.5 million. Think of the FXX K Evo as the track only sibling of the Ferrari La Ferrari. Built on the same platform, the FXX K Evo delivers 1,036 horsepower via its naturally aspirated V12. The FXX K Evo cost $2.6 million when it first launched in 2017. The final Gordon Murray offering on our list, the T50 comes with a $2.6 million price tag. The T50 produces performance worthy of that cost with a naturally aspirated 4 liter V12 and 654 horsepower, which may not sound like much until you remember that the car weighs just 2,174 pounds and that compact V12 only 392 pounds. It's the lightest V12 on the road today.
Lamborghini set hearts a flutter in 2021 when it announced a successor to the Countach nameplate. Priced at $2.6 million, the Countach LPI 804 carries a 6.5-liter V12 with light hybrid assist, giving it 803 horsepower and a 0-60 time of 2.8 seconds. After six long years following the car's unveiling, the first Mercedes AMG One finally rolled off the production line and into customer hands in January 2023. The hybrid hypercar is capable of a combined 1,049 horsepower with a 0 to 60 time of 2.9 seconds. Production is limited to 275 cars, each costing $2.7 million. Even Agent 007 might have a difficult time affording the Aston Martin Victor's $3 million price tag. The Victor takes a few bits from Aston Martin's lineup. The car is based on the 177 platform and borrows parts from the Vulcan and the Valkyrie. But fitting the car's unique construction, the Aston Martin Victor is a one of one. If you liked the Hennessy Venom F5, then you're going to love the Venom F5 Roadster. Featuring the same powertrain as the regular car, the Roadster has an estimated top speed of more than 300 miles per hour. You'll have to pay a premium for all fresco motoring though, as the Venom F5 Roadster costs $3 million. The Koenigsegg Jesko is the most powerful car the Swedish automaker has ever produced. Starting at $3 million, the Jesko features a 5-liter V8 engine with 1,600 horsepower. The car is capable of a top speed of over 300 miles per hour, at least in its performance-focused Jesko Absolute variant. The Aston Martin Valkyrie looks every bit as good as its $3.2 million price tag would suggest. Its Cosworth Source 6.5-liter V12 produces 1,160 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque, giving it a top speed of well over 200 miles per hour. Not bad for such a track-focused automobile. The regular Valkyrie is limited to 150 units, while the track-only Valkyrie AMR Pro is limited to a scarce 25 units. First announced in 2013, the Lycan Hypersport is the first sports car designed in the Middle East. The debut offering from Dubai-based manufacturer W Motors, the Lycan Hypersport is powered by a twin-turbocharged 3.7-liter six-cylinder engine producing 780 horsepower and 708 pound-feet of torque. With titanium LED headlights housing 420 15-carat diamonds and a holographic center console display, the Lycan Hypersport's hefty $3.4 million price should come as little surprise. If you've ever dreamed of being a Formula One driver, and let's be honest, who among us hasn't, the McLaren Solus GT may be the next best thing. The single-seater hypercar delivers 829 horsepower and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour from its 5.2-liter V10 engine. The price for living out your race car fantasy? $3.5 million. If the original Pagani Huayra and its fixed top are a little too mundane for you, the Targa Pagani Huayra Roadster BC may be just the ticket. Coming in at $3.5 million, the Huayra Roadster BC features the same Mercedes-AMG twin-turbocharged 6.0-liter V12, but this time they cranked it up to 800 horsepower and 774 pound-feet of torque. Production is limited to a mere 40 units. The Bugatti Chiron Pure Sport is the most affordable Bugatti on our list at $3.6 million. Such a deal! The Chiron Pure Sport gives a whole new meaning to the term cheap thrills, however. With an 8-liter W16 engine, 1,500 horsepower, and a 0-60 time of 2.3 seconds. Bargain hunters, rejoice! The Lamborghini Sion gives us a glimpse of what to expect from the luxury automaker going forward. While it's based on the Aventador SVJ, the Sion is the first electrified offering from Lamborghini. The car is powered by a 6.5 liter V12 and 48 volt mild hybrid system, giving the Sion a total output of 808 horsepower. Meriting the $3.6 million price, the Sion stands alone as Lamborghini's most powerful street legal car ever. The Koenigsegg CC850 was unveiled in August 2022, commemorating the 20th anniversary of the legendary Koenigsegg CC8S. Using the same twin-turbocharged 5.0-liter V8 as the Jesko, the CC850 produces 1,385 horsepower and 1,022 pound-feet of torque. It also features a unique transmission that shifts between manual and automatic functions, complete with a clutch. The CC850 is expected to reach production in 2024, and it costs $3.7 million. If you just cracked the 300 mile per hour mark, you'd have to celebrate in style, right? That's just what Bugatti did with the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. The Supersport 300 Plus is a road-going version of the modified Chiron that broke the 300 mile per hour barrier. Production on the Supersport 300 Plus has already ended, with each unit costing $3.9 million. 
While the Sion may be the most powerful Lamborghini on our list, the Veneno is the most expensive Lamborghini ever at $4.5 million when new. The Veneno is still plenty powerful too, with the Aventador's 6.5 liter V12 pumping out 740 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque, blasting the car from 0 to 60 in 2.9 seconds. The track-only Bugatti Bolide makes some of the road-going Bugattis on our list look downright tame by comparison. Priced at $4.7 million, the Bolide's 1,824 horsepower makes it more powerful than even the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus. According to Bugatti's simulations, the Bolide is even capable of a production car world record of 5 minutes and 23.1 seconds at the Nürburgring, besting the Mercedes AMG 1 6 minutes and 30 seconds around the ring by more than a minute. Theoretical or not, that's some serious speed. Bugatti is giving their iconic W16 engine a proper send-off in the upcoming Bugatti Mistral. This roadster packs a fierce 1,577 horsepower and takes design cues from the Chiron, Bolide, and Devo. The price for the W16 Swan Song Incarnate? $5 million. The Pagani Huayra Imola marked one of the final variants of the Huayra to be introduced before the Utopia was unveiled in 2022. The Huayra Imola's twin-turbocharged 6-liter V12 turns out 827 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The Imola is limited to just five examples, priced at $5.4 million each. The Bugatti Devo was revealed in August 2018 at Pebble Beach. At $5.8 million, the Devo is even more expensive than the Chiron, but believe us, the extra cost is justified. Bugatti gave the Devo lighter wheels and a carbon fiber intercooler and removed some sound deadening to shave 77 pounds off the Chiron's weight. Power output remains unchanged, but the Devo's unique aerodynamic setup had it besting the Chiron's time around the Nardo test track by 8 seconds. The SP Automotive Chaos is the first car from Greek automaker Spyros Panopoulos Automotive. At $6.4 million, the base earth trim Chaos runs a twin turbocharged 4 liter V10 with 2,049 horsepower. However, the even more premium zero gravity trim comes in at $14.4 million and packs a claimed 3,065 horsepower. The gorgeous Pagani Cotalunga is the latest Huayra variant from the Italian hypercar maker. Inspired by 1960s Italian coach building, the design features a vibrant exterior and a steampunk-styled interior. Under the hood is a twin-turbocharged 6-liter V12, producing 829 horsepower and 809 pound-feet of torque. The Coda Lunga is limited to 5 units and costs $7.4 million. The Maybach Accelero is a one-of-one one commissioned by Fulda in 2004 to showcase its new tires. The Accelero is based off the Maybach 57 and is powered by the same twin-turbocharged V12 engine with 690 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque. The Accelero cost a whopping $8 million when new, which adjusting for inflation would be well over $12 million today. The Bugatti Cento Dieci debuted in 2019, commemorating the 110th anniversary of Bugatti's founding with styling derived from the similarly named Bugatti EB110. The Cento Dieci is limited to just Dieci or 10 units and carries a $9 million price tag. The Bugatti Chiron Profile is one of the rarest Chirons ever to come off the production line. Bugatti initially intended to build 30 examples of the car, however production was later cancelled limiting the Profile to a solitary unit. The lone production model was auctioned off at RM Sotheby's on February 1st, 2023, selling for an estimated $10.8 million. At number 3 on our list, the Rolls-Royce Sweptail costs a massive $12.8 million. When it debuted in 2017, the Sweptail was the most expensive new car ever. Production was limited to a single unit, and although it may have been outpriced since then, the Sweptail is still a jaw-dropper. Rounding out the Bugattis on our list is La Voiture Noire. Based on the Chiron platform, La Voiture Noire was intended as a modern reinterpretation of Jean Bugatti's personal Type 57 SC Atlantic. It has six exhaust tips, radical new wheels, an aggressive and bespoke fascia, and a gigantic light-up rear badge that spells out the name of the brand. This one-of-one one masterpiece is priced at $13.4 million. And here it is, the most expensive car to date, the Rolls-Royce Boattail. Acting as a successor to the just-mentioned Sweptail, the Boattail features a two-tone exterior, high-end interior finishes, and a hosting suite complete with champagne fridge and sun umbrella. Rolls-Royce doesn't announce pricing for one-off builds like this, but rumor has it that the Boattail cost a remarkable $28 million when it was new. And there you have it, the 50 most expensive new cars in the world. 
Which of these would you most want to see in your garage? Let us know in the comments below. And once again, for more great car content like this, subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Motor One Com. As always, thanks for watching.